Hello, hello, dear viewers. A very warm welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to inspect a diesel injection pump plunger. We'll be looking at the method used for inspecting a plunger and a barrel assembly. Well, this is a pumping unit for a multi-plunger diesel injection pump. When this is inserted in here and uh, fuel will be admitted through the feed port, fuel from the feed pump will be supplied here. And when the plunger is moving up, it will exert pressure and pressurized fuel will be injected out of the injection pump and it will be injected into the cylinder. Now, how can we inspect operation of this plunger? This is, this is the plunger, plunger unit. As you can see right here, we have the barrel. Here is the barrel and here is the plunger. It is a very tight and clearance fit, very tight fit because fuel leakage has to be prevented. You see, there is a very fine clearance between the plunger and the barrel clearance is very tight. Inspecting the diesel injection pump plunger and barrel assembly is very crucial for ensuring proper fuel delivery and engine performance. Now let's have a look at what can be done in order to properly inspect plunger and barrel assembly. Well, the first thing you have to do before inspecting is cleaning. Remove the plunger and barrel assembly carefully from the injection pump and then clean both parts thoroughly. It has to be cleaned. You should not be touching the surface and there has to be free of d dirt and debris. It has to be very clean. Otherwise, even a tiny dirt, tiny debris can prevent it from functioning properly. So clean both parts thoroughly using diesel fuel or recommended solvent to remove dirt, carbon deposit, and any kind of varnish. It has to be removed from the cylinder, inside of the cylinder, and from the plunger itself. Also, whenever you are cleaning, avoid using abrasive materials that could scratch the surface. When cleaning this plunger surface, it should not be scratched, it should not be scrubbed, so avoid abrasive materials such as sandpapers to clean this plunger assembly. Then proceed to visual inspection. Once this is done, proceed to visual inspection. Check for any defect. Any scoring or scratch on the polished surface has to be checked. So check it under sufficient light, check the plunger assembly for any scratch, for any scoring or any scratch. And if possible, also look inside the barrel assembly. Check to see if there are any scratch in the barrel assembly as well. You can thoroughly check it by using a, some kind of light. You can use magnifying glass in order to check the barrel for a smooth surface. Pitting or corrosion caused by water or poor quality fuel it has to be checked. Whenever there is a pitting on this surface, whenever there is corrosion on this surface, that could be caused by water inside the fuel. When water is introduced in here, and uh, especially if the injection pump is not driven for long, that will result in pitting or corrosion. If you, if you see burn or discolored area, if you see some form of decoloration, discoloration, it could be caused by overheating due to lack of proper cooling. And if you see worn edges, this edge, it has to be very smooth. There has to be no chamfering. And same thing is true for the cylinder barrel as well. Cylinder, it has to be very smooth. If you see worn edges on the, this surface and also worn on this helical surface, this helical is the one that is going to be used for metering the diesel fuel. Fuel metering will be done by this helical surface. Check for any worn edge. If there is worn edge on this helical groove, it will affect diesel fuel volume, injection volume, and fuel metering will be affected. So make sure that it is a smooth cut. Make sure there is no chamfer. Make sure that there is no worn edge. Then on the barrel part, check for any scratch. Any scratch inside the cylinder, any scoring inside the bore, it has to be checked. And if there are also corrosion, check for any corrosion. Just move around, have a torch light. You can turn it, you can place some light on the lower side and see the inside. Check for any corrosion or pitting. If there is corrosion or pitting in the barrel, that will lead to fuel leakage. So it has to be thoroughly inspected. And any kind of wear pattern should be checked. Wear pattern on the this feed hole, it has to be checked. If there is crack or deformation, it requires immediate replacement and always check to see if the surfaces are very nicely finished or if it is smooth or not. 
Then the next check that you are going to perform on this barrel and the plunger is dimension check. The dimensional check is done by simply measuring the diameter of the plunger by using a micrometer and the internal diameter of this bore by using a bore gauge or any kind of uh, internal micrometer can be used. So compare it with the manufacturer's specification and there is only very tiny tolerance allowed between the plunger and the barrel assembly. Excessive clearance, if there is excessive clearance that can lead to wastage of fuel, that can lead to improper function, so it has to be properly inspected. So always check. Excessive clearance means replacement is required. So check the internal diameter of the barrel, check the outer diameter of the shaft, and then the difference between those two clearance will tell you the gap. It should not be greater than 0.00025 millimeters, usually. If it is greater than 0.0025 millimeter, it means there is wide clearance and it requires replacement. So every time check the diameter, check the diameter of the barrel as well. The fourth test that you can do on this plunger assembly is for leakage test. Leakage test is done by simply checking how much pressure this can hold before leaking. Assemble the plunger into the barrel and then block the fuel inlet, block this fuel inlet and pressurize fuel. You pressurize it and see how much fuel it holds. Observe the pressure. If the pressure drops significantly, it means there is a leakage between the barrel and the plunger clearance. That way you can check the clearance. And the other thing that you can check is for number five, plunger fit and a smoothness check it has to be checked. Insert the plunger into the barrel at a 45 degree angle. Hold this at a 45 degree angle and when you release the plunger, it should drop by its own weight. If it, did, if it is not dropping by its own weight, it means some dirt is preventing it. Clean it, immerse it in diesel fuel and hold it at 45 degree. When you hold it at 45 degree, it should slide, should slide down with its own weight under its own weight. If it is stuck or if it is binding, it indicates there is dirt or it indicates there is wear. Rotate it a little, check for that. Rotate it again and check it again. Rotate the plunger inside the barrel. Movement should be very smooth and without roughness. When you rotate it like so, it should be smooth. There should be no roughness. As you can see, it's rotating very smoothly. You can also check the smoothness of the plunger and the barrel assembly like so. Also make sure that you check for sticking or binding. After reassembly, manually operate the plunger to ensure free movement. When you operate like so, it has to be free. The sticking indicates some kind of contamination is there or some kind of misalignment or some kind of irregularity is there. Then finally, reassemble it and check. Lubricate always, whenever you are reassembling this, you have to make sure it is lubricated and ensure proper alignment of the plunger and barrel when assembling. Then after installation, you can test the injection pump for proper fuel delivery and proper fuel pressure. So, this is what you have to do in order to inspect proper operation of the plunger and barrel assembly. If you observe visible scoring or pitting, if you observe visible damage or deformation, some kind of crack, some kind of scratch, the plunger requires replacement. Same thing is true for the barrel. If you see any kind of uh, visible scoring or visible pitting, it needs replacement. Excessive clearance between the plunger and barrel assembly by measuring this and uh, measuring the internal of the barrel. When you find if there is excessive clearance, it needs replacement. And if there is excessive leakage between this gap, there has to be no leakage between the plunger and barrel clearance. If there is excessive fuel leakage, then it has to be replaced. And finally, if the engine exhibits poor engine performance, such as misfire, uneven fuel delivery, or irregular running, it also indicates it's time for replacing the plunger. Oh, okay, then the other thing you can do is, as a preventive maintenance, there are some things that you can do. Always use clean and high quality diesel fuel. If the diesel fuel is not good, if there is water mixed in it, if it is not pure, that will result in corrosion and pitting. Always replace fuel filters regularly in order to prevent dirt and debris introduction into this clearance and avoid running the engine pump dry. The injection pump has to always be lubricated. 
Follow manufacturer's, manufacturer's recommendation and uh, maintenance interval whenever you are maintaining your injection pump. By doing so, you can prolong the service life of your plunger barrel assembly. By following these steps, you can ensure longevity and efficiency of your diesel injection pump. So this is what you can do in order to inspect clearance between the plunger and the barrel assembly. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you regarding some of the inspections and checks to be performed on a barrel and plunger assembly. If you find this video helpful and if you like what has been presented, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing, turn on notifications so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.